Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you watched the video before this that I posted two hours ago. Wow, it feels like a whole day ago. Ugh, I'm not feeling super great and I haven't been for the past two weeks. So like I was able to do my makeup today. I think I did a pretty good job. Still a little kind of weird. Um, I guess when I get closer, I like it better, but like, you can kind of just see like the blush and the spots or like the, um, little marks as a star and a moon because I got my star and my moon dress on today. Um, so yeah, today is a, um, or not, uh, of course I messed up right away and I don't want to re did re re-record this because I'm not feeling good and I haven't been and I haven't been sleeping and every time I smell food I feel like I'm gonna throw up and it's been two weeks of doing that and I don't have and I'm not sick so I have no idea what's going on with my body but I'm just gonna power through it today I or right now I guess because I plan originally I was going to do a uh, things I got for Christmas and other things that I got bought during December and November and then I wanted to add October to that but then I'm like, that is going to make this video really long and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do a what I got for Christmas 2020. And then I'm going to do things I got during December and November. And then I'm going to do things I got during October and maybe even like September because I wanted So I did a Halloween video, not Halloween, but I did two videos in the beginning of October and it's kind of was like a little mini oh I guess the first one first day of October was kind of a big haul but I had other haul like other stuff that I had bought during that time and I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna film it so one day I had like saved it all up and then I got really really upset <laughs> and then I just opened everything and I'm like oh I'll, since it's there's so much stuff I'll just open it now so I'm not doing an unboxing video I'm just showing you what I bought um but then I didn't do it in October and now it's the end of December and I want to show you stuff because I'm kind of going a little spooky lately I can hear the mail truck um so this is my lighting is really weird because I have a window there and a window there which I think is like perfect but like sometimes since it's December the sun isn't out and when I first started this like when I was getting all my stuff ready, the sun was out and it's like yay but now it's like Ugh. and it looks kind of like how I feel on the inside but this room right here is going to be my future makeup room. Right now I'm sleeping in here, so it's a big mess. And, but when I move downstairs and that becomes my bedroom, this is going to be a makeup room slash spooky room slash spooky, um, words, 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 words spooky guest room so like I want to get like a day bed because right now I have a queen size bed and that takes up almost the entire room and it's like I want it to look cute in here because last time I had a room that looked cute I was seven when my mom decorated it for me and I am now 27 so I would really like to you know decorate my own stuff especially while I'm still single and I don't have to deal with a possible partner being like don't do that. That's disgusting looking. Or like, don't do that. Look at sticks. I, I've had one of those partners before and um, I'm glad that's over. But um, yeah. So it's now almost five minutes into this video of me ranting. But let's, because I'm going to keep this simple. I just picked out a few things that I was really excited about that I got for Christmas. And then I will, I thought about doing my stocking, like not the stocking at my parents' house, but the stocking for I have here. There's four things in there. And I should have done that. I should have. But oh well. Oh well. I'll get you a video. I'll do like a stocking video, I guess. If I do a stocking video, then I'm going to do things I got in my stocking at my parents' house. And I have a whole bunch of other. So I got the exciting stuff in here. So I'll just show you what I got for Christmas and then I'll do a stocking video. Okay? Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Maybe. I just I'm so tired it's been 2020 I haven't in 2019 I didn't make any videos 2020 I made barely any videos I want to start making videos again I'm just I want to do it I mean none of them are gonna be edited and that's where why I never get any views or 
restaurant. I don't know. I don't know what. I'm still ranting. <laughs> okay. Just stop ranting. Stop ranting. Uh, the makeup is making my face itch. All right. So first of all, I'm going to start with, I got a label maker and it's purple, which is my very favorite color. Um, I have an Alex nine drawer that I got from Ikea. Like, I know like every, everyone, everyone ever has an Ikea Alex drawer. But, um, my mom and I in November went to Ikea and I bought an Alex drawer and I'm really excited. However, um, cause I saw this on Sophia Nygaard's video where she had organized her Alex drawers and then she put the labels on and then, um, I can't make up my mind where I keep my stuff. And I'm also like at the point where I feel like I have everything I want, but I had, I so this spot where I'm filming now will be the future home of a vanity that I bought yesterday on Christmas from eBay. Although I don't know where I'm going to film because if I put the vanity here and I sit at the vanity, you will be able to see everything over there. So, but I bought the label maker. So hopefully, because I'm a very disorganized person, but maybe this will help me a little bit. Because I do have a bunch of stuff in bins and things. And it would be nice to, you know, put some labels on it or in boxes. Because I get those little, like, photo boxes. Put some labels on those. Because those, I've kind of, like, reorganized them several times. But not nearly as much as my Alex drawer. And I just got that in November. I literally had this for a month. And I think I've reorganized this more than I have my entire craft supplies since I've moved here. So, okay, next thing I got is Upside Down. This is an art box that my cousin got me, which is hilarious because like I was thinking about getting back into doing art and it's not even like one of those little kid ones. It's not like a crappy little kid ones. This is a really, really nice art kit. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's got really pretty paint and watercolor and pencils and other stuff and this little drawer here which i hate because it's squeaky has lovely it has um oil pastels in it i'm not i don't like pastels like i don't like i don't like the way they feel i'm one of those people who i have really sensitive like i have sensitivities to things like i don't like the feeling of sand i like wet sand like if i go to the beach but like at then i have issues from going from the wet sand to the dry sand because i don't the feeling of dry sand i don't like it and i hate powder so i hate chalk like if you have a chalkboard and i need to write on the chalkboard i don't uh, i don't like it it's, it bothers me okay but so those are oil pastels which just feel like crayons like when you use them they look like crayons and this is probably because i have zero well i have more than zero I have a pretty decent amount of, this is from my makeup, pretty decent amount of art skills, but like, I still, it's like, I don't know how to describe it and I don't want to describe it. So I'm just, I'm going to not describe it, <laughs> but it's not, it's, it's good, but not great. Um, anyway, yeah, we're just going to do that. Okay. So I only have three more things before I do stocking stuff. Uh, I don't think I need to do a stocking video. I'm gonna do two other videos. I don't think I need to do a stocking video. I think we're just good. I think we're good. I got a few little things and this will be short, hopefully. So I have three, I cannot hold these all up, no way. Three of these complete or three of these uh Barnes and Nobles book I love these they're so pretty like this one is my feet I have had this very strange not very strange but I have an obsession with Beatrix Potter there is a cartoon from the 90s that I remember watching in preschool I only watched the Peter Rabbit one so there's like nine episodes and it's taken several of her works and like they did the animation in her art style so it is gorgeous and they took several little tales and they like animated them and I'm in love with it. Like that is what I watch. It's like, it has someone like put them all together and it's like three and a, almost four hours long. 
um, since I've been feeling sick, like that's what I listen, I listen, I have to listen to something when I sleep. Like I cannot just sleep in silence. I do not like it. I cannot sleep. It's impossible for me to sleep when it is quiet. I have to have some sort of noise and I like talking. Like uh, singing I can do for a while. Like I listen to Let It Go from Frozen. Everyone knows where that's from for literally four and a half years straight. But I, right now, I, for the past six months maybe, more, maybe more, I listen to a Muppet Babies, the original Muppet Babies playlist on YouTube. Um, my nose itch has I have powder in it, but since I've been I've been feeling well, I've been laying down to like try to rest a little bit because I'm not sleeping at night. That's probably why I feel like garbage is because I'm not sleeping and it's finally catching up to me. But I listen I will listen to the Peter Rabbit thing. That of course takes me a minute to explain why the hell I just listen to Peter Rabbit. But um, I love it so much and I find myself like quoting it. <laughs> Just quoting it out of nowhere. Like there's this part where Peter Rabbit goes, not likely. And I do that all the time. Like I just did it. <laughs> but I even try to do the accents and I'm not good at accents. But I have a really weird kind of like obsession with British children, like classic British children's works. Um, I'm trying to get into Harry Potter. I'm not, I've mentioned several times on this channel, I'm not a Harry Potter person. But, um, I'm trying to get into it. I haven't actually read the book yet. I started Twilight, which I'm like kicking myself because at first it was it was okay. Like I'm like okay, this is all right. But now it's just, it's gotten boring, and I'm literally on the twelfth chapter. I'm not even done with the first book, and I'm bored with it. But anyways, I have already started reading this. I started reading it like as soon as I got like look at this artwork. Look at this. It is so. I can't even get my. <clears throat> The camera doesn't even do it justice. It's so beautiful. Like, I am so excited for this. Then I have two more. So I'll talk a whole minute, two minutes about the first one. But then I have Winnie the Pooh. The complete works of Winnie the Pooh. And so that's the complete works of Beatrix Potter. Except for back in 2018, they found, a, like, her, her, like, like, it's not, it, it was, like, finished. But it was, like, she didn't publish it. It was, like, an unpublished work. And it's, like, Pussy in Boots or something like that. So it's, like, a cat wearing boots. So it's, like, her... I don't know. I haven't actually read it. I want to read it. I need to find it somewhere. Hopefully it's been published by now. But it's not because I think this was, this was published before that. I remember finding this and being like, I need this for my children. Because like my first, my nursery growing up, or not, my baby room was Peter Rabbit. So I think that's where my obsession of Peter Rabbit starts. Is at childhood, babiness. Um, but this is the complete works of Winnie the Pooh. Uh, again, weird obsession with children, uh, children's or British children's classics. Um, but you know, Disney is what got me into this because I love Disney. We, we don't have to mention that. We know this about me by now. We know I love Disney. It's not like a thing we have to talk about. I do. And this video is becoming a lot longer because I'm ranting. So this one is The Wizard of Oz. I never loved The Wizard of Oz growing up. It wasn't until I was an adult that I loved it. And it was because of my friend, friend, my friend, my friend from school. Her name is Haley. I never disclose my name, but I will disclose people's names who aren't really as around as much. But she loved Wizard of Oz. And for her graduation party, she sang Defying Gravity from Wicked. And I became obsessed with it. And it was... The Wicked who got me into the Wizard of Oz. But like there was a time where I hated Dorothy. Like I was 18, 19 years old and I hated Dorothy. She was so annoying. <laughs> but like I think that's one of the things where you have to kind of just like as you grow you realize wow I thought this like I used to hate Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas and now I love Sally. I think she is my favorite character in the movie because she is the only one. Okay I thought I was going to say that makes any sense. Like, seriously, like, she's the only one with a head on her shoulders. And sometimes it's just like, Jack, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. But, like, now I love The Wizard of Oz. I am obsessed with The Wizard of Oz. Oh, my God. I did it. I did the I am obsessed YouTube thing. Yeah. YouTuber, I'm obsessed. I'm not obsessed. I 
love the wizard of oz i'll watch the wizard of oz i have characters in series i'm writing based off of the wizard of oz i love them i love that it is in the public domain so that you can do that um but like i don't even know if i can open it it doesn't have the same kind of art oh like artwork that the other two have because you know it's done by different people so this isn't this is just the wonderful wizard of oz this isn't the complete works i thought it was the complete works but this is the best one everyone who has read the complete works will tell you that this is the best one this is the one to read and i am really excited to read it i've listened to it on not audible but it was like a free book site kind of and i've listened to it four or five times and i love it i love it more than i love the movie <laughs> which i love the movie so yeah okay i'm gonna do stocking stuff now maybe like in my next video I'll just, I'll do my other stocking. I'll just put my stuff from my other stocking. My stocking. Yeah, my other stocking. This is from my parents' house. This is a treat ball. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like little layers and it's got little holes in it. So that you put treats in it and that you can, the cats have to like move around to give them treats. I think they're gonna love this a lot, especially Moose because he'll be able to see through it. He is deaf, he can't hear. Like he's laying on my bed and I'm yelling and knocking stuff over and he's just asleep. But um, I can put treats in it and he, I few, back on Easter, I had put treats in an Easter egg and I was shaking him and he couldn't hear it, but he could smell them. But if I stopped shaking it, he's like, where'd they go? What happened, what happened? And he'd bite my fingers because he, like my fingers didn't smell like treats, but with this, He'll be able to see it. He'll be able to see them through the clear plastic and know that there are streets in there. And he will, because the holes are nice and big. So I'm afraid I'm going to put stuff in there and they're just all going to fall out. <laughs> that would be my luck. But I think, it, I think this will be pretty good. I think this will be really, I think they'll like this a lot. So my sister got this for me. So thank you to my sister, Zella, I think that's what I call her. She has another name, but I have Stacy, Zella. Yeah, Stacy and Zella. So this is for my sister Zella. So thank you. And now I'm going to do something that I was really excited. I bought this for myself, and I got one for Zella. Oh, there's two things, but I got one set for me and one set for her because we really need this. But it's Moon Teeth Whitening, which we both had great. For words this is the second time i messed up on a basic word braces we had braces growing up and even i've had them off for almost 10 years now and my teeth are still incredibly stained we never go to the dentist um i'm no longer on my parents health insurance she is but it's just like we're those people who it's like oh we need to do it and then it never happens like so i got us these I like so I had went like eight years with this the glue still stuck to my teeth like that's it was just like the worst orthodontist I've ever been to or probably that's ever existed they were just terrible like there was a time where the braces had messed up my teeth and they blamed me and then she, like the lady's like oh sorry we messed up and it's like duh it's actually my Frankenstein teeth this tooth right here that's my Frankenstein tooth. And that's because of, I used to have really nice teeth, but then I got braces and now they suck. So thanks a lot. Okay. Um, last few things. And then of course it's a 20 minute video when I meant it to be like five because I can't stop talking. So this is something that's in my other stocking and I have, it's like it came in a little set, but I divided it among me, Stacy and Zella. Um, so this is a get your glow on. So I gave them the other two. Duh, I just said that. But I have another set just for me because I love face masks. I love face masks. I got these from Ulta. Uh, that's where I worked for the past year and a half. I never said anything because I didn't. I didn't know like. If Alta employees would be like, oh yeah, I work at Alta. Come visit me at Alta. And it's like, I didn't, 
I didn't want that. Like, I don't think I have that many subscribers. I have like 12, but you know, I just, I really, even though I, I'm on YouTube, I'm still really like, I would like to have some privacy. That's why I don't use my name. Um, that's why I don't use my friends' names. But I like my privacy. So I'm no longer there. I left on the 6th. And now I'm working full time at the school. I was already working full time at the school, so I work at a school. I mentioned that in my one of my October videos, and I love it. First, I was really nervous, and then I just kind of grew into it. And now it's like I don't want to like I don't I plan. I don't know what I want to do with my life still. I don't want to be one of those people who, when I'm 60, I want to be like I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. And I know one of those people. I know several of those people. Like my mom is still one of those people, and she's 58 now. Her birthday was yesterday on Christmas. But, um, I don't know. I I know I'm going to stay there for now. I'm going to be there for now. I, especially because, like, I'm in love with these kids. I love them so much. And when we have 14 kids and, like, half of them are leaving to go to kindergarten next year. <laughs> I don't know. I love them. Okay. So, I told myself when I, in the last October, I'm not going to become obsessed with this school. So, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be talking about, and I do it all the time to Stacey, and that's the only reason why she's always mad at me, is because that's all I talk about is my school. But if you saw my kids, you would too. So, I'm going to be a school mom. Just be like, look at how perfect my kids are, even though they're not mine. <laughs> Anyways. So, I got some, I got one for me, my mom, Stacey, and Zella. But these are foot peels. I already tried this once, and it's so good. Like, it peeled. Like, it's not just, like, the you know where you put the socks on, and it's got, like, the gel on the inside. It's not one of those. This, you put the liquid in, and it's great. <laughs> you can hear it. This is good. Um, I started seeing results, like, the next day. My feet, my feet don't get really dry because I wear shoes and socks and slippers. Right now, I have on slippers. I always have something on my feet. I do not like, also my house is a mess. It's always a mess, especially with having three cats. There's cat hair everywhere, cat litter everywhere. Every time I sweep, it's like, as soon as I've swept, there it is again. I need to fix something. <laughs> I need a vacuum. Cause like I have carpet in the bedroom, hardwood out there and everywhere's a mess. And I have a vacuum, but it's broken. So I need a vacuum. There's too much stuff on the floor for me to sweep. <laughs> so. I always have on shoes and socks. Even if I like to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, I slip the slippers on and I go to the bathroom. But I like my feet to be soft. I don't like having dry feet. And so I actually got my mom a pair of heel patches from this brand. So to go in her stocking. So there we go. Um, so this is something I get every year for me, at least the past year. I did it last year and I did it this year, so I'm gonna make this a tradition. But this is the Tony Moly I'm Rice mask because that is our last name. Our last name is Rice, and I'm just like, that's me. This is me. So I got one for me, my mom, Stacy, and Zella. And then I got Delta had a really good deal this year. Not only that, I was an employee, but I got these online. Um, so I got the I'm Rice and I got the heel patch or the heels thingies online. Before. Oh, I'm not going to tell the story. I'm not going to tell the story. I'm just going to keep going. Um, I also got the Tony Lily I Am Lavender. Because lavender is my very favorite smell in the whole wide world. I love lavender. Lavender is the best smell to me. I like, I like floral smells and I like sweet smells. Like sugary smells. Like bakery smells. So good. But I love lavender. Lavender is my very favorite scent, scent in the entire world. And then last but not least, I got... These little, uh, they, they came in a set of three. So there was a dog, a unicorn, and a cat. And I gave Stacy the unicorn because I have to get in the cat because we know I love cats. And then I gave Zella the dog because Zella loves dogs. She works with dogs. Like, that is what she does. She has a dog. She loves dogs. My mom tells, so she has tattoos and she really likes tattoos. My mom's like, don't you dare get another tattoo unless it is your dog's face on your face. And it has to be her tongue hanging out. It's just, but like, so they come with like the little, it looks like a cat face. And so I told my sister, just like, oh yeah. Be like, yeah, look, I got that tattoo you told me to get. I don't think she thought it was that funny, but 
So I gave one to Stacy and Zella, and I gave one to me because he looks like Moose a little bit. Not really. He's a lot grayer, and he doesn't have any markings on his face. So it kind of looks like a fig and Moose had a baby. <laughs> but that is my Christmas, what I got for Christmas 2020 video. Um, I think I need to turn on some lights. I don't know. I kind of like, as you can see, my highlighter It looking good. Like, I don't know. I kind of like in this lighting. Like, it's not perfect. It's really dark and the, the, the camera's picking it up nicely though. So I'm thinking I'm just going to make some more videos and then post them. But I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in a few minutes. Then. I don't know. I don't know if I should like just keep wearing this. I kind of like it. Like, I wish my hair was longer. Like, if I had like more contrast going on, if my hair was like a little bit longer, maybe if I wasn't so chunky, my hair was like longer. And I, I got this hat. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk about it. But um, yes. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna make some more videos. Post them up. Maybe three more videos. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe more. Maybe less. But uh, should I change? Should I not change? I think I'm gonna. I like this look. Like I like it. I like the way I did my makeup. I don't want to take it off. And I'm feeling good. So I've been feeling like crap for the past two weeks. I'm feeling good right now. I'm gonna ride it. I'm gonna ride the good wave. So see you soon. <laughs>